Wednesday, September the 27th. Lake level still about the same as it's been the last two, three weeks. It's about, oh, 916, about three quarter. Uh, water temperature still in the mid 70s. And if you've been out at all the last couple weeks, uh, there were several tournaments this weekend. The fishing has still been extremely tough. Uh, you know, you can catch little fish. What's hard to come by is keepers. And, you know, after the, there were some pretty large tournaments. One tournament this weekend had 125 boats, a team tournament. I think only seven limits came in the first day. There were several other tournaments where if you had five keeper fish, you know, 10 to 11 pounds, you were, you were having a really good day. And the fish are still kind of scattered out absolutely everywhere. I'm hoping with this cold front that's coming through, it's going to get the bite a little bit better. Like I said, it hasn't been too big of a deal to, to catch fish. The problem is, you know, catching keeper fish. I think last week I had mentioned the fish were, I was starting to find them a lot more grouped up uh, out there deeper on a lot of the main lake points, uh, kind of what we call roll-offs, points that go way out into the lake. They got a drop on one side or the other. But this fish literally being caught from two foot to, to 45 or 50 foot. Some guys are catching them on little shaky heads on the bluffs. Uh, there's been a lot of schooling fish. I've been up in the White River a couple days this week, and the fish are coming up for about an hour, hour and a half in the morning, schooling, chasing shad. And they seem to be pretty fussy about what they want to feed on. Like, the, you know, we caught some on a red fin and a few on a pawpaw the last couple days, but what I kind of figured out there yesterday, the bait to be thrown, or at least it was yesterday for us, was when them fish were up there schooling and chasing shad, you know, there's a lot of individuals, one or two fish, then they'd go back down. Well, you can get over the top of them, try and catch them with a drop shot, because they're coming up out of that 20, 25 feet of water. A lot of them are coming up over deep trees. But as far as when you could reach them, cast into them, like I say, they, a lot of times they wouldn't even look at a spook or any kind of hard bait, but we started casting flukes into them. And I was throwing an all white or like an albino shad or a bait fish color. Basically, I was rigging it up on light line, six or eight pound line. I was putting a pretty heavy swivel, and this will help you cast it, plus let the bait sink down a little bit. And then about a oh, 12 to 14 inch leader, and just putting a three odd hook in it. But all we was doing was casting this out and twitching it in the area, and it seemed like. Uh, they wanted to just set dead still for the most part, but we caught several fish, you know, on the fluke with a few keepers. And if you notice, I got my new boat, too. I'm really excited about it. I've been using a buddy's boat, but I got my new Z21. Got everything rigged up on it. Got all kinds of new toys. I got new Garmin electronics and Minnakota uh, Altrex trolling motor, which has been, been pretty neat, making my job a lot easier. But on the drop shot baits, a lot of the same stuff we've been using, like a chopper's uh, brown purple laminated worm. I've got some hand pours, kind of pink or plum, been working good for me. And also a green pumpkin uh, zoom finesse worm or watermelon candy work. But another bait uh, seemed like I'm catching a lot of these fish, are, uh, you know, like I said, they've been blowing up shad in the morning. They're feeding real heavy on shad. And this is a real little tiny fluke. I don't know exactly what it's called, whether it's called a fluke junior. Uh, but that seems to be working real good. It's about a three and a half inch bait, you know, and I'm just nose hooking them on a drop shot. And usually I've got one person throwing uh, this little swim bait or the little fluke, and another person throwing a drop shot worm. Still catching some fish on football jigs. The, the bite is few and far between, and it seems like it's kind of a dead deal. You know, in the morning when they're surfacing, can't catch them on top water. Go out to where you've seen the, the fish surfacing. See if you can see them on your electronics. Try to catch them on a drop shot. Now, I have been able to catch some on a little swim bait. Uh, I think a little four-inch grub, like a chopper's grub, a Yamamoto. Uh, this is a, a 2.8 Kitek. I've been throwing on a quarter ounce head and casting this out and swimming it around the same area that the top, you know, the top water fish are biting. 
But like yesterday, they wouldn't bite it. They would bite the flu. But when I see them fish come up, if I can't catch them that way, I'm seeing if I can find them on my electronic setting over the top of them. Uh, there's some fish, you know, as far back in some of the pockets as you can go. Fishing is just really kind of crazy. There's, uh, you can't really rule anything out because there's some bait moving in the creeks. And there are some fish back there with them. Sometimes in the middle of the day, you go in the backs of the creeks. If there's a little bit of stained water, any kind of wood cover that's in there. Try to throw like a little square bill, a spinner bait, or even a top water over the top of it. Like I say, even throughout the day when there's no clouds, every once in a while you'll, you'll catch a good keeper fish off a piece of wood in two to three foot. Uh, been catching a few fish on shallow docks and in between the docks. And I'm talking about maybe 12 foot to the bank, you know, fishing the stalls that come out to about 12 feet, fishing in behind the docks on the walkway. But there again, you might pull in a pocket, catch one short fish, one keeper fish, fish 10 or 12 other docks and not get another bite. Seems like I've got a lot of rods out on the deck, fishing a little bit of everything. Uh, like I say, I just hope this cool weather starts congregating the fish and getting some of them moving back into the creeks a little bit. But it's just been, uh, it's been extreme, you know, September and October is always tough, but it just seems like it's a, it's a lot tougher than normal the last few weeks. So hopefully next week I get a little, a little bit more positive fishing report. But like as far as the, the fish catching, you know, you can catch several fish from the 14 to 12 inch range. The keepers are what's real seem seem real hard to come by, and the consistency of them as far as the areas that you're fishing and the patterns that you're fishing them. Seems like don't be afraid to change anything up. Uh, like I say, with the depth range that the fish are at. It's more of getting a bait in front of a fish than it is the particular bait that you throw in. So until next week, uh, good luck, good fishing.